and we're back to exploring AI, or at least what's branded as AI. This week I was looking for an upscaler and I think that this is the best one at least for my needs so far. It's called Upscale. I'm going to link to it. They're working on a cloud version that you can use online. You can join the beta waitlist for it. But you can also download it for desktop and this is what I wanted. I use Windows so I left click on it and then you get a simple exit that you can open right here. This is what it's going to look like when you've got it installed. And it's going to work even if your internet access, your Wi-Fi doesn't work and it's free. So it can't get any better. You can drag and drop your images here or select one via a folder. I'm going to use this one. It is 707 times 707. And you can see the upscale resolution after it has processed it. For select model, there are a couple of options. I'm going to use digital art. They're going to look a little bit different depending on the model that you use. But for the most part, digital art is what I needed. You can double upscale it. And now you see it's way bigger. I don't need it that big, but just in case you need it, obviously it's going to take more processing time when you double upscale it. It's simply a 16 times upscale. You can select the folder where the upscaled image will be. I've created an images to upscale folder and an upscaled images folder on my desktop. Because you can also use batch upscale up here. In my case, I'm going to put it just in a download folder. And here's the batch upscale. So you can select an entire folder where you put like 20 photos, whatever. And they're going to get upscaled as a batch. There are a couple of settings. I would advise you to leave them alone for now. Most important is right here, save image as PNG or JPG. You can change the theme if that's something that you're interested in. I keep it to default. And you can save the output folder right here. When you've got something created like I did upscaled images on your desktop, you may want to make this your default. You can save that here. But that's all there is. Just click on upscale. It's going to take around a minute or two with a size of 707 times 707. There are alternatives and you can access them online. I'm going to link to them as well. Pixel cut, for example, just drag and drop it here and tiny wow. As far as I can tell, they are also free to use. They were when I used them. I'm going to link to each, but upscale right here. This is the one that I can use on my desktop. Therefore, this is the upscaler of my choice. And here's the results. We have a slider on the left is the original, on the right the upscaled one. And watch the street right here. These are great results. And now you can use this upscaled one for printing or whatever you want to do with it. Maybe upload it to a stock image platform. Be aware that there is a watermark on the bottom right, but this watermark is only in the app, so the upscaled image doesn't have that. And here is the upscaled one. It now has almost 24 megabytes. So it's way bigger, which is only logical, but everything works fine here. Once again, it's free. I'll link to it, check it out. And maybe the cloud is already available, but if not, use the download version like I did here. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.